Now that we've looked at Google search and we looked at Google display, let's take a look at a YouTube campaign, which is this video efficient reach, which is designed to reach a lot of people. And what we're gonna do is we only have a single ad group. So let's take a deeper look at this particular ad group. We can see that we got 311,000 impressions, almost 18,000 views. We have a view rate of 5.77% and a CPM of 40 cents at a total cost of $125. Now looking into this, we can see that we have a number of different ads. All of these ads are videos and all of these videos are ones that exist on my YouTube channel. So those were selected. When we did the Google display campaign, we also had videos, but those were videos that were imported and weren't necessarily uploaded to YouTube. So you can see a quick little preview of each of these ads and you can see that there is a skip ad option on the image covering my face. And that's because the ad type we're using is a skip skippable in-stream ad. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that there are a number of different videos that are being used. And we can see some of the data points here. So impressions for this one, 73,000 views, about 3,500, view rate 4.73%, CPM 34 cents, total cost of $25. We can see which video was being used and check that out on YouTube. 500 clicks, click-through rate of 0.68%. And we also see data on what percentage of the videos that people actually watched. Uh, this is gonna be perhaps more important when you're doing long-term brand awareness building because you're not necessarily expecting people to click right away. Uh, you're not expecting a lot of engagement. What you're really trying to do is impact people's memories to embed yourself in their minds. So people viewing to 25% was about 20% of people about 15% watched half, 12% watched 75%, and then only 6% watched 100%. Very useful data. Next thing we're gonna do is click this little icon here with the pencil, and we're gonna go to preview. We have some different preview options here. So this is what the ad would look like on somebody's cell phone. Now we can click what it would look like on a laptop. We can see the here is the, the video playing. There's gonna be some other videos here, description, et cetera, below it. Now we can see what it looks like on a full scale monitor. Okay, here's what it looks like. We can copy that link and share it with other people. We can also preview on YouTube to see what it would look like. You can see it's gonna play like a normal YouTube video. Uh, but it's going to say add, it's going to have a link. When you hover over this, you can see the little uh, image here associated with your brand. In that case, it's just a picture of me with learn more and people can click the, the skip ad option. Next, let's take a look at what it, like, what it is like to edit one of these. So instead of going to preview, we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to edit ad. And you can see here, there's a little warning. Videos longer than three minutes don't usually perform well as well as shorter videos. Uh, research from Facebook, some data from Facebook, which suggests that you face diminishing returns around, say, 15 seconds in terms of impact on factors like brand awareness. So uh, I can understand here why YouTube's saying you don't need to go longer than three minutes. You don't really need longer than three minutes to tell a story. In my case, I do have very long video ads that I'm running. That's because uh, I've, I'm just lazy and tried to use some longer videos that were being run for organic marketing purposes as well as ads. But ideally, you would uh, perhaps design something that's more appropriate as an ad than a, a long form video. So we can see here the uh, display URL, uh, the URL that people are brought to. What you might want to do is have some sort of a UTM code here so you can track it. So you could just Google UTM generator so you can put in details. Um, for example, if this generates a lead for you, you could put in the UTM parameters that the lead came in from a YouTube ad. So you know to invest more into that. I have uh, some different calls to action that I could go with here. In this case, it's learn more just to generate as much uh, clicks as possible. Uh, the headline is Facebook ads. We can see here that the little banner image, we went with auto generate based on the channel banner, but you could upload your image if you wanted to. There are different ways that you could assess the performance of these videos and it's really just contingent upon what you're looking for. So for example, I could sort them by view rate. We can see here that this video on brand management has the highest view rate. You could sort them by CPM. And we can see here that uh, this has the highest CPM. So let's take a look at what has the lowest. It would be this Facebook ads video. We could sort by click-through rate. 
And we can see here again, the Facebook video has the highest uh, click-through rate. We could sort by these various percentages of the video watch. So let's see 100%. Um, the most common here is the leadership training video. And let's take a look at 50%. And we see that the email, the cold email video, it has the highest rate there. Uh, a little difficult to compare because some of these videos might be over an hour long and others might only be five minutes. So uh, probably not the best basis of comparison here, but something like th click through rate, uh, CPM, uh, view rate, th these would be easier to compare among different videos of different lengths.